Hey, Grady, so this is a little review for your test. We're going to look at representing division on a number line. We're going to do a whole divided by a fraction. Then we're going to do a fraction divided by a whole, and then we're going to do a fraction divided by a fraction. In all of our math, we always make sure we do our estimation first. We're doing 2 divided by a half. Another way of looking at that is 2 divided by 0.5. When we divide by 0.5, we're actually doubling, right? Or another way to look at it is we can, we can actually do the calculation. We can take 2 over 1, because that's it is a, it's a whole number, so any whole number is over 1 as a fraction. Let's change this division to multiplication and flip the numerator for the denominator, and that's just, it's reciprocal. So it's actually 2 over 1 times 2 over 1, which is 4. In all three types, we would do a whole divided by a fraction, a fraction divided by a whole, or a fraction divided by a fraction, we want to do common denominators. So in here, we've got um, something over 1 and something over 2. Let's make them both over 2. The divisor doesn't change, but the dividend becomes 4 over 2. So we represent our dividend on the far right-hand side. And we, in the middle, we've got uh, sorry, 2 halves. And we've got 3 halves halfway between it. And then we've got 1 half right here. And we've got a 0. So we have four halves, and we're dividing by halves. So we're looking at how many little halves are there within four halves. So we're, going, we're counting by halves. There's one half, two halves, three halves, four halves. How many halves are there? There are four in total. B, we're looking at now the division of a fraction divided by a whole. Just like last time, a fraction, uh, any whole number is... Oops, sorry. Any whole number is a, um, a fraction over 1. So we can do what we did before. We can change the division to multiplication, and we can flip the, the fraction, the second, the divisor. So instead of saying 1 half divided by 2, it's actually 1 half times a half, which is a quarter. All right, in this case, it's a little trickier. We still have to do a common denominator. We're going to make them both over 2. So the, the dividend does not change, but this becomes 4 over 2. And this is why it's a little trickier. So instead of representing my half way over there, I'm actually going to represent my half right about here. Now, um, I'm taking, this is my 1 half right here. This is what I have, and I'm dividing by 4 halves. So I'm going to put my 0 right here. Here is 2 halves. Here is 3 three halves. I know this is not drawn totally to scale. And here's four halves. All right. So I'm supposed to be bouncing by four halves, right? So I'm supposed to go from zero all the way to four halves. That would be, that would be one whole, right? One full bounce. The reality is I only start with one half. So instead of going a full four half bounce, it actually stops right there. How many increments are along the way? There are, there's supposed to be one, two, three, and four. It's supposed to go four spaces within its one long jump, but it actually only makes it one out of the four. So when you look at uh, one half divided by two, it only makes one out of the four possible jumps along the way. Third one, there's Waldo, awesome. Uh, when we look at uh, half divided by a third, we do our calculation first. Change this to multiplication. Flip the divisor so it becomes uh, 3 over 1, and we do the multiplication, and we get 3 over 2. Same thing as always, we look for a common denominator. So the common denominator between 2 and 3 is going to be 6. And 6. Divide. Divide. So we're going to double this one, and we're going to have 2 over 6, 3 over 6. All right, so we're doing 3 over, three over 6, or, or half, divided by 2 over 6, or third. Just like on the first one, we're going to represent uh, 3, 6 all the way over here. And we're going to go 2, 6 here, maybe 1, 6 here. Again, not drawn totally to scale, doing my best. 2 over 6 and our 0. All right, so we have 3, 6, and we're dividing by 2, 6. So that means we're going to do a bump from 0 to 2, 6. There's one hole. 
and we're going to go, oh, it doesn't go all the way, right? So we know that each bump is two segments. So it's gone one hole, and it's supposed to go two bumps, but it actually only, out of the two bumps, it only goes one half, or one of the two bumps are represented. So you look at our answer and you say, hey, wait a second, our answer when we multiplied the two together was three halves. Well, as a mixed fraction, it's one and a half, and then uh, as an improper fraction, that is the same thing as three over two. Booyah!